Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Amy DuPont. And I'm Mike Thompson. Governor Evers signed a bill to crack down on an expensive theft that impacts car owners. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad spoke with one lawmaker who says the new law cuts catalytic conver converter thefts at the source. Yeah, that's right. The source is the market to sell. Now, this new law makes people selling a catalytic converter prove they own the vehicle where the catalytic converter came from. It's a crime that leaves many people confused at first. As soon as I turned the key, it was really loud. Until they realize what's missing. Looked underneath it and came over and said, yeah, somebody stole your catalytic converter. This car part converts toxic gases from a vehicle into less toxic emissions. The only fact thieves care about is the part's price tag. Catalytic converters contain the metal rhodium, which has a value of 10 times that of gold. The National Insurance Crime Bureau found between 2019 and 2020, average monthly catalytic converter thefts jumped from 282 to more than 1,200. La Crosse police records show 53 thefts since March of 2021. 12 thefts came this past February. Gina Good is one of those victims. How do they do this when it's parked across the street from my house. Catalytic converters are pretty easy to get at. Anyone with a little wheel cart can wheel right underneath the car and cut one out. Officials I spoke to today say it takes about five minutes for someone to do it. And unless your car is parked inside a garage, it can be done in broad daylight. A very much costly uh, inconvenience to that vehicle owner. On Alaska Police Chief Charles Ashbeck says drivers can park next to cameras or inside garages, but he understands those are not luxuries everyone has. Quite frankly, there's not much that citizens can do to protect themselves. The thieves often get away with it. I mean, there's no way to link it back to my van. Evers Penn turned one Senate bill into a law geared toward preventing this crime. So if you want to take it to a scrap dealer, you have to show proof of your identification and you have to show paper trail of you know proving that in fact it's yours. One of the bill's sponsors, Representative Steve Doyle, says this law will keep this crime from crossing the Mississippi River. People couldn't sell them to a scrap dealer in Minnesota, so they were coming over to Wisconsin. Can't do that anymore. Ashbeck says the law takes control of the market. If there's no place for thieves to sell these to, the demand is going to go way down. Cutting off the fuel of this crime at the source. Now, Chief Ashbeck says scrap yards should keep good records for these sales. That way, when law enforcement launches a theft investigation, they have a paper trail to look at. All right, thanks a lot, Jordan. If a scrap dealer fails to follow the new law, they could face a $1,000 fine and up to 90 days in jail. A second event carries a $10,000 fine and up to nine months in jail.